Hey everyone, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. I, uh, as I've said in the other two videos, maybe, that are released the day this comes out, I am, I guess, sick. I don't really know. But I'm gonna stick to classic mode, and you know what, David Bowie, I, I wait. I don't freaking know. I haven't won with a bunch of characters. I'm, I'll just play this character. I don't know why it does that pause thing, because I'm not paused. I'm not pausing. So anyway, I am gonna be quieter and talk slower and stuff. I don't know. Not stress my voice as much so as to be able to actually get work done, but still do my thing. Song's a lot more chill. Alright, that's good. Fight this mini boss once we make sure that there's nothing in the room and it seems there's not. Alright. <clears throat> I don't know how I got hit there. Just as a thought. God, these bombs are wussy. Alright, Russell shouldn't be too bad. I think we'll have a pretty chill time with Russell. No biggie. Yeah, I'll take a mini mush. So that shrinks my hitbox. And my size, of course. That's pretty nice. Because that means enemies have a harder time hitting me and I can do better stuff. Dang it. I can blow up all of the things here. Oh, wow, we already got Blast Shield, actually. <clears throat> awesome. So now I'm immune to explosions. Which makes my life pretty nice as dynamite. I can just kind of do what I want. And having the mushroom actually also allows me to cheese the butts off of uh, some bosses. Like the ones where Mike shrunk the ceiling. I can still get on top of the elevators. Unless he fixed that. But I don't know that he has. I expect that he hasn't. So until I go to the shop, I don't want to pick that up. That's 7 armor and uh, speed down. I would like to see if I can get Adderall or I guess any other speed up. But only Adderall matters that I wait to pick up uh, a speed down because it's percentage based. We'll ignore the Bomba for now, because it'll get stuck there, because it's a noob. And we get... Uh, Hans's pistol's real good. Trigger finger's real good. I'll probably buy both of them if I can't get the mystery box and get enough money for both. If I only get one, I'll buy trigger finger instead, because I know some people have their issues with uh, pistol, even though it's been nerfed. And it's kind of painful now how nerfed it is. But we'll see. I have enough for both. And I'm not going to get enough for Mystery Box. So I'll buy both of those. Since there's no left hand in sight. That's that. Alright, let's go. Trigger finger. Pistol. Goodbye, Tenchi sword. And away we go. It's super weird how every other jump I can jump as I land and then I have to fully land other times. I don't understand that actually. It makes very little sense. So I didn't get any speed ups. So I still feel pretty fast, honestly. So that is good. Darn, all these things blocking the doors. Can't see where I'm going. Easy. 
Oh, I'll make the straight path. I see that looks like an armory. And it, looking sideways, by the way, it does increase your vision cone, so... Makes sense to bother. Why did that thing just die? I don't get it. Whatever, man. <laughs> Alright, I would reroll that. Power of the Gods. Gives me a random power-up. I don't care. So, like I said, I'd give it a reroll, given the opportunity. So I'll try and remember to pick it up at the end of this floor. If I don't, it's not really a very big loss, honestly. So, that's that. Problem solved. Could be a shark somewhere, probably. Knew it. So let's check out the armory and see if we get a new primary, but I don't really think I want a new primary, nor do I want the cannon. Another reason I really hope to get a reroll on this uh, on this here floor. So, of course, being able to reroll in the library is a pretty important, nice thing. All right. probably shouldn't use ammo, because there's no reason I need to. I can blow myself up freely without any concern for my own life, because it doesn't damage me. And explosions are honestly a really threatening thing in this game most of the time, so... Not having to worry about them makes my life a lot easier. Double damage and fire rate for some amount of time. That is what our buddy here will do for us. Alright, that was the battery I heard at that time. NBD. Battery's a pretty nice guy. Jeez. Powerful weapon. Ah, oh, darn, I walked right into that. There we go. Beautiful. And since I'm fearless of ghosts that don't exist, we good. Uh, I want the magnet. For sure. Use this. We got uh, assault for that. Which means I want to fight the boss now. And of course, Galito Souls is useful as it's ever going to be with this character. I'm still going to reroll it just because I have a reroll and this extra item here. I have to wait until I can reroll it until assault's over, which is fine. Iron Heart, fantastic. Uncapped health, like it says. I would love to buy uh, that other thing. Fire rate up and speed up from the lightning bolt. Be great. So magnet attracts all power ups, or er, not power ups, all pickups to us from very far away, very conveniently. And uncapped health means that I can just have all the red hearts in the world. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, awesome. Bottle opener means that I can just collect all of the ammo in the game for my specials or super weapon, and it'll never stop me. Really good luck here. We rolled Gilead's gun into the flak cannon and the uh, cannon into Doxy. I don't want either of those things. I have good stuff for bombs by having blast shield. And uh, having Doxy, it changes your uh, sound effects like when you get hit and stuff, your grunts to those of Zero Doxy. And it's honestly just less fun to play with. All 
Alright, we've got a super boss here. I need to fight that, like, right now. Okay, it's both of them. Which is very bad news. If I get two items for this, man. I still may die. Who knows? Once, uh, the, um, slow-mo deactivates, it's obviously time to use... Assault. As much of this done as I can. This is looking very bad. I can't escape these jerks. Just spam some bombs in there. Alright, Gilead's dead. Not Gilead, um, Gorton. Other G. Lost a good amount of health there, but I got Propeller, which is a fire rate up, and Spring, sure, it's a higher jump. I can deal with it. I don't usually like to take Spring anymore, because it just makes bunny hopping less effective, and it's already pretty ineffective at this point, since Mike nerfed it a long, long time ago. But having it with... Um, no double jump means it's pretty worthwhile to take since I don't have a double jump. So this has gone pretty well. And that was a decent first floor. Second floor. That was the second floor. So there you go. I'm not going to take the armor box. I'm going to save up my money. No golden scissors or anything there. Oh, I could have left from the super boss. Whatever, man. Oh, the boss is just straight up connected to this room. Don't even have to look extra specially. You live. As you can see, I'm still at 95 ammo because I didn't really have to spend any. Omni gives me a speed up. Pretty good. Now I'm out of ammo. Worth it? Probably not. Golden scissors? You bet. I do want the speed up, that's useful. So we're in good shape for now. Of course, battery will bring me to 100 super ammo. I'm willing to bet that Mike didn't make it so that if you have more than 100, it doesn't take you to 100, so it's probably bad to use if you already have more than 100. But battery will still bring me to my proper ammo cap, so if I got uh, Tesla coil, then I would be able to... Uh, it would give me 200 instead. Or set me to 200, not give me 200, because that's a completely different story. Though it would actually be really awesome if Mike set the battery to, like, add your current ammo cap. Since I assume that the ammo cap is, um, set not to go higher, even if you, like, picked up something. So it would be awesome if instead of setting you to a certain ammo count, it just added your, your max ammo. So that would make it really good with bottle opener too. But that would probably be really powerful. And again, how often are you going to find so many, uh... So many batteries that that's going to help you immensely. It could happen, I'm sure. Alright, so just to prove my point, I now have 100 ammo. Cool room. Alright, chill dudes. Wait. God, there are no special rooms on this floor, evidently. Remember, I did not take Skeleto Soul, so I'm pretty lacking in stuff right now. 
in range on these bombs. buy all of them, so I figured I should. So now my bombs will poison stuff. Cool, I actually managed to kill him. Sweet, a damage up too. Alright then. So my bombs will poison stuff, do damage over time. I move faster on the ground and not win in the air from the sand shark. Uh, I got an armor box and I got Mega bullets, which is a small damage up. Small, not too too much damage, but this poison damage is not a damage down, unlike uh, that other thing. That's good. There are no power ups on this floor, so I guess I'm good to go. Done everything I need to. All right, Sand Shark, do your thing. All right, cool. All righty. That poison, man, it's so good. Where? Where have you gone? Found you. Cool, I don't actually know what hit me there. I guess it's fine. Hello, shark. Goodbye, shark. So far we have a tiny floor, which is weird, but okay. Are we fine? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, boss. <clears throat> Poseidon. I don't have a Trident unlocked, so I'm pretty sure I won't get that. I guess that's cool too. I'll still get something. Oh, cool. Evil Eye. Alright. Piercing shots. Not super effective with bombs, obviously. But that'll encourage me to shift away from using the grenade launcher at some point. I didn't even mean to let the boss die to poison, by the way. Doesn't seem to apply the piercing to uh, bombs anyway, so there you go. Looks like those hit multiple times now. Laser shotgun, no thank you. Dang, I'm bad. Good, I love this room. It's acting like I have gum or something. I just glitched through the... I'm not going to question most things any anymore. Got that coin back from the, the depths of being trapped. Can of beans is like definitely happening. Does pretty good damage over time to enemies I'm close to and it also poisons them now. Which is like top tier fantastic. So that's nice. And since I now also have this pistol that will uh, like seemingly double hit enemies that have large enough hitboxes, that's great for many bosses. I assumed they had died. I was not wrong. Nice room. I like this floor. Hot feet. Immunity to lava and acid for a short period of time. 
Since I have nothing else, it's worth having. By the way, single jumping up that high is um, not just a factor of the spring. That wouldn't work with just the spring. You need to also have the uh, mushroom for that to work. of the way it changes your hitbox. Alright, let's go. I've accumulated quite a lot of uh, health so far. So entering the fifth floor, I'm feeling a little more confident. This is quite a room. But I guess I need to go for having 69 bombs. That'd be a good thing to do. I'm close, so as long as I just don't chuck any bombs all over the place, I should be fine. Alright, I have can of beans, which is real good. So I should finish a room without uh, attacking. This is a decent room for that. There you go. Took some damage, but no big deal. Would be another pretty good room for that, honestly. Since here there would be no risk of taking damage once I got to a certain point. Gotta love this boss, though. Hate that item. Allows you to ground pound by jumping again. I think that's disadvantageous because it makes jumping... I don't have a double jump, so it's as useful as it'll ever be. Maybe I haven't picked it up yet on this, so I think it could actually be useful since I have no double jump. I think that's the only time it's ever even slightly worth considering. I'll pick it up. So now when I jump, I can ground pound. I don't know if it even does damage. If it does, it's so negligible. I think it's just for a movement option, honestly, and I, I think it sucks. That's okay. Alright. I like how little my ammo has actually increased since picking up this uh, bottle opener. Like, I don't use it that much, I just don't get that much super ammo. Need super ammo boost, obviously. I'm gonna go get my movement and fire rate up. Movement speed and fire rate up. I'm not sure I buy that it's faster when you move in diagonal, uh, yeah, brief walk. Now that I unlocked Blowfish, I guess I should get it from this boss. Yeah. Damage down, so I don't really care. I don't want it. But it would do double poison damage. Maybe I'll take it. I think I'll take it since I haven't taken it yet in this, uh, save. So now I have assault. Good thing to have. Now. Ah, oh, there's so many rooms here. Guess I'm after this after all. Or it doesn't end. Is that a reroll? Why, yes, it is. How nice. This floor, though, why is it so long?
cool. At least my ammo, besides not going up much, doesn't go down much. Like, my ammo's still at a decent count. That's a thing. So this is the end of the line. God, this is insane damage, though. Salt's not what I need. Since I do have Sand Shark, I, I would like to stay on the ground. So when I get to a point where I've accomplished what I need from my jump, I guess I actually uh, am in good shape as far as that's concerned. So if I also if I do this, I might gain speed because bunny hopping, but also uh, high movement speed on the ground. It's certainly annoying to look at. But even if that does work, I don't really want to do it. Alright. Dang, there's a pillar in every room. Except this one where I... Yeah, I'll do it. Ah, perfect execution on that. That was pretty good. So of course the Ankh gives me like 15 seconds of invincibility, is a useful thing. I thought this room had more enemies in it, honestly, so I guess it's totally easy. Oh cool, I found some stuff. Some stuff I might have been interested in. Having trouble hitting me enemies. I feel like you might be. Oh, uh, see, now when angel wings show up, I'm sad. Because, yeah, it's a double jump, but it's like... Now I have Mario, which makes that really inconvenient. So Powder Keg doubled my damage. Pretty great. Alright. <laughs> Hello, can of beans. Didn't even have to. All right, yeah. Rum doesn't even have a detriment now. It's movement speed, fire rate, and damage up for three health down. But that is only three heart containers down. So with uh, with um, Iron Heart, it's just no no downside. Which I can certainly say I'm into the idea of. And since I got Powder Keg, man, I am really set. Oh, there we go. I unlocked the bomb box. <laughs> Alright, this run has officially become silly. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely increasing my movement speed by a really, really big amount. What did I get in here? Hot feet. How did you make it here? God, being invulnerable to my own bombs is real dumb. Right now, I am power freaking house. It feels like bombs perform differently now, like their behavior has changed as far as stuff. Like they seem to be sticking to things, and I don't have gum. Right, I'm gonna skip that room, like any sensible human being would. God, I can move so quickly when I do that. It definitely seems to be a thing.
I'm gonna assume that doesn't have a thing in it. God, I just jump over a Gangus and it'll die because of my powerful freaking can of beans. Sick. Suddenly ended up with a bunch of money. Did a pretty bad job here. But I'm still, I've got so much health. Not even a big deal how badly I'm doing. Alright. I decided to do this room simply because it's easy. I don't have to fear the bomb, dude, honestly. Alright, so who is the boss here? Banshee, so I get a uh, damage up. Since I got so much money, I'll go ahead and reroll in the, uh, stop. See, one of these rooms had an assault in it. Or not. Sorry if this is jarring. I didn't leave anything in here, did I? No, I didn't think so. Alright. Yeah, okay, Shield Lover and Halo. There's no reason not to take them, basically, but there was no reason really to take them. Wild card could have been a reroll, I suppose. This is so annoying. Ah well. Did what we could. <sighs> Alright, well it wasn't a dark level, unsurprisingly. room. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. Was an easy room. And then it wasn't an easy room. There are three power-ups in here? That's nah, just silly. I just used that. Oh my god, okay. Double golden scissors, quarter prices. Hope I find the shop then. I'll just do this room instead. Well, I'm on the final floor, which means that things are pretty easy right now. There's no way for me to get uh, a ghost right now unless I get a... If I get ghost the item, I'll totally go to the 8th floor. Uh, no, I don't need that. I know that's nothing. Just because it's so fun, using slow-mo here, I accidentally two bombs there. Went through the floor for a second. Always good. Oh, okay, I was seeing this room, I guess. That was freaking weird. Or does every room have that? Slow-mo is broken. Slow-mo is very broken. Evidently. Alright, so there's nothing off of that room. There might be something off of the room two uh, away. Oops, accidentally activated this room trying to stop myself from activating this room. Alright.
Wait, there could be something off of that room, I don't know. Until I check. No, thank goodness, because I hate that room. That room is butts. That room's kind of butts, but really not that bad. Alright, it is butts if I do that a lot of times. But Shield Lover means more armor drops and less health drops, which really there is no reason to or not to take. It doesn't make a difference in my life. The prices, like, don't exist right now. I'm okay with this. Aw, oh, game's not clutch. However, flip-flops, chainsaw, health box, sure. The chainsaw, now that's going to be silly because every time I hit with a bomb, it'll do a chainsaw thing. Every time a bomb explodes, it'll do a chainsaw thing. Of course I get a reroll though. There's nothing left in the shop because I bought everything, but did I leave the mini boss item? I really didn't expect to get that uh, reroll there. It's Gilead's gun. I probably had more than 100 ammo there, didn't I? Oh well. Stuff happens. I should have just not bought flip flops, I guess. That would have been smart. I didn't hear it, so, uh. It certainly didn't set me to full health. Thank goodness, that would have sucked. I'd have been real dead. Huh, it did give me a reroll. However, I doesn't matter. But now I have faster movement in the air and faster movement on the ground from Sail and Dan Shark, respectively. So, it's stupid how fast I'll be able to go. Hello, chainsaws. Alright, let's uh, calm down on the lag a little bit. Boss is pretty dead. I like how they don't even finish coming out of the ground. So... Yeah, chances are there's no armory or super boss or anything. I'm not gonna even bother. I'm just gonna take my victory as it is be happy. There you go, and now I unlock Cherry Bomb. Oh, no wonder I didn't find it. There you go. So we'll go ahead and watch the credits, and that'll be that. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I thought that was a super fun and silly run. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.